Hello everybody and welcome to Buttershaw Business and Enterprise College's very first online assembly. We haven't had a chance to speak to you uh, for a few weeks so we thought it would be a good idea to do a video message to pass on some remarks and some things to think about whilst you're at home. On behalf of all the staff here at Buttershaw we're missing you all greatly and we're looking forward to the day when we can reopen our doors and welcome you back into the school and begin your learning again. But until it's safe to do so, please make sure you're looking after yourself, please make sure you're looking after your family members, and please make sure you're staying safe. We'll see you all soon, but please make sure you're looking out for each other and looking after yourself. One of the things which I find really important when talking to students is trying to foster within them some kind of ambition. Ambition is one of our school values and something which I hold quite dear. And ambition is something which I've had to reevaluate as a result of our time with the coronavirus. This pandemic has made me feel a wide range of emotions and I'm sure that many of you feel the same way. The most powerful emotion that I've felt during this pandemic is that of appreciation. For years my idols and heroes have been my favourite authors, my favourite musicians, my favourite actors, political figures, and considering that I'm a history teacher, yes, my favourite historians. I've aspired to be like them and looked up to them for inspiration. That will still to an extent continue, but nowhere near as much as before. My outlook on who are the heroes in my life have changed. They're former alumni of the school and members of our school community and others everywhere who are stocking the shelves at supermarkets looking after the elderly in our nursing homes, cleaning our public spaces, including our schools, so that we don't get ill, doctors and nurses in the National Health Service who are making sure that we stay healthy and trying to save lives, and policemen and paramedics who are out there on the streets every day trying to keep people safe. These people might not be paid the most money or have the most followers on Instagram or YouTube, but when everyone else is safe at home, they are working to keep us safe and well. The heroes in my life, it turned out, were right in front of me the whole time. As a student in year 7 to year 13, I hope that one thing you might take away from this experience is that there are thousands of people out there for you to be inspired by. And they don't play sports and they don't make money online. Be inspired by them. Clap for them from your doorsteps and without apology, aspire to follow in their footsteps. As anybody who's sat in an assembly with me before knows, I always like to end on a quote. This quote is one of the most inspiring and one of the most wise statements that have been written down in the English language. And it's a story which has been used for thousands of years for both wisdom and for hope. It's the story of a Persian monarch who asked his wise men to present him with a statement, something which would be true at all times, regardless of the circumstances. The wise men went away for years to deliberate what would be the sentence which they would give to their emperor, which would be true no matter what the circumstances. After great deliberation, they returned with the statement, and this too shall pass. The purpose of the statement was that no matter how bad things may seem, no matter how difficult we might be finding it, no matter how irritating and how disruptive this virus has been to our daily life, it will pass. It will end. It will go away. When it does, we're all ready and waiting here at BBEC to welcome you back. Stay well, stay safe, look after yourself.